Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect brothers out there on the four corners of the globe, pushing this truth and all truth and sincerity and strength in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, here on the screen, I'm going to get into just a quick lesson on uh, basically the name. A uh, couple of just scriptures to edify. Uh, I was watching the video, uh, the brother uh, Nanda Zabba in South Carolina was preaching, you know, <clears throat> diligently on the streets. And uh, at this particular time, he's preaching now, man. It's it's uh, a lot of people that's conversing back and forth through those uh, streets where he's at right now. So I'm pretty sure he, he's going to uh, encounter a lot of different spirits, man. And this particular spirit came up. He came up, shalom, shalom, uh, all praise. And then the brother, when, uh, the scriptures say in First John, uh, try the spirits, okay? We got to try the spirits and test the spirits and found out this guy was basically uh, in between camps listening to IUIC and Sakari. So, Basically, he was bringing confusion on himself because one camp speaks the name and the other one don't. And even though he's heard the name, he still didn't know the name. And then another thing, his woman, she was uh, buttoning in saying more than him. She didn't keep quiet in the church, okay? So that lets you know that they obviously haven't learned nothing, right? She didn't keep quiet in the church. She was trying to speak more than him. And then she didn't even know the name, Right? But the brother edified, but hey, that dude, he had to get on. He didn't know nothing. He had dreads, walking around with his shirt off, you know, talking about who came on the slave ship. Guys like this are going to be destroyed, man, if they don't get it, okay? Your forefather Abraham, <clears throat> he even called on the name of the Lord. So if Abraham called on the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh, and then the son, Yahweh Shai, what more, than, what more should we? You right? This is how I started. I think it was Genesis. Um, I started too. And Abram was very rich in cattle and silver and gold. Right? And this is real money. Silver and gold. Not this FRNs that we have now. Cattle. Rich in cattle, silver and gold. Which the Israelites don't obtain or possess in a large amount. We don't have cattle. Esau got all the cattle. We don't have the gold and the silver because they have it. They have lock, lock They have it under their uh, lock and barrel, man. It says, and he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar which he made there at the first, and there Abram called on the name of the Lord. He said he called on the name of the Lord, okay? 3068, the original. And it's in the Syrian Hebrew right there at the top. The first letter from right to left is Yah, Ha, Wa, Ha, Yahweh, okay? The existing one. See, this is this is the madness, the throw off. They try to put Jehovah in there. You gotta remember, man, Esau published these, these strongs, these blue letters, these different Bibles they have rewritten. You gotta, you gotta know, and only the elect are given this this knowledge, man. You know, the Lord says, "Show these secrets unto the servants, the prophets." Number one, the proper name of the one true God. And that's all you gotta know. That's the proper name. Yahweh. Okay. He didn't. He didn't even know that, man. I want to say he said Yahweh. I'm not for sure. No, I don't think he said Yahweh. Uh, it might have been later when that female came from Arizona. But you have to call on the name, man. Uh, let's get this scripture right here. It's the only way we'll read in Joel. We'll get there. And I'm pretty sure brothers know that scripture in Joel. But we're going to get there. I think this is Psalms 50. Uh, let's see here. It might be in the teens. Uh, Psalms 15 and 14 Offer unto the Most High Yahweh Thanksgiving and 
pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. He said, call upon me in the day of trouble. And that time of Jacob's trouble is coming. Okay, that time of Jacob's trouble is coming, man. All right, it's coming. It's definitely coming, man. We're going to have to call on Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the true one. It says the proper name of the one true power, man, in order to, to, to be saved out of this, this hell that's about to come upon us because Revelations 12 and 12 says the wrath of Esau is coming, man, because he got a short time. The devil has come down and you're having great wrath, man, because he know he got a short time, man. So you got to call on that name, man. It's, it's very, very, very important. Okay, very, very important. Jeremiah 33, 3, call upon me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. See, and God didn't know, man. He didn't know. But look, he was in the midst of the church. The Lord led him there to be fed the truth through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh He had his servant right there to, to show him, right? Show him. Through the, through the spirit, you you, you would have learned great and mighty things that you know of not. If you would have stayed there and humbled yourself, you could have told your wife and them, hey, go around, go around, get y'all something to eat. I'll be around and give me like 15 to 20 minutes. And you would have learned, man. Okay? The Lord tell you in Proverbs, the first chapter, that he's basically stretching his hand out. And you refusing him not, man. So you he refused the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah just then. But he claiming shalom, shalom. I mean, Israelite, but you you refuse, you refuse the Lord just then, man. So the Lord gonna refuse you in that day. He gonna laugh at your calamities in that day, okay? He gonna laugh at your calamities, man. Joel thirty, Joel two and thirty two, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh shall be delivered okay you're gonna be delivered out of jacob's trouble man okay because a lot of things are coming down the pipe brothers are going to be getting tested esau is going to be trying to make you go against your power brothers are going to be getting uh, uh, brought to concentration camps death is going to be brought to your front door it's going to be brought to you in, in different ways you're going to have to trust in the lord and it's all about having faith man you know and with faith, man, you're going to show your works. And one of them works is what? Knowing that name, man. Okay? Knowing that name, man. Okay? It says, for in Mount Zion, which is which is Israel, like Israel, and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. See, that deliverance is coming from for the Israelites, man. Okay? It says, as the Lord Yahweh shall... He said, and the remnant whom the Lord Yahweh shall call is only a remnant, man. You know, did, did, is this guy acting like the remnant? No. Can it be possible he probably be born a remnant? It is possible, man. Because, hey, something could happen to him today or tomorrow that, that, that he might remember uh, speaking to the prophet. He might remember what the prophet said. And, and, and basically, he might get it. Who knows? We don't know. It's up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh or he could keep he could keep that uh the blinders on him pursuing to uh uh Isaiah six and nine pursuing to that. He could keep them blinders on him, okay, and it and it could be over for him, you know. It could be over for him. So hey, I just hey just wanna bring that out, man. You know, just look, you know, that because that was a, a little edifying uh a, a video I had seen. You know, to the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, so call Halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well and peace and blessings to the whole full life. Right, GMS Arkansas, Shalom. Who else was on the boats? Come on, man. Four hundred years. Four hundred years.
Okay, I'm all about learning Yashua. Yeah, how was that? Yeah, how was that? Right, right. How was that? Right here? Yeah. How was that? Right. Who y'all learning from? What kind of thing y'all be saying? I'm learning from, um, Yashua. Yeah, 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 So, hey, that's, hey, man, that's, that's the wicked of our people. Hey, hey, man, call her law, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rekha'akudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS, rule well, peace and blessings to the whole for elect, GMS, Arkansas, GMS, stop and listen to the next time, Shalom.